we're gonna make the most simple massaged kale ever. Probably. Don't quote me on that. So this can be the start of your kale salad, but I also just love having it as a base ready to go because I don't really like eating just like raw kale. I mean, like, mm -hmm. I don't mind it, but you have to chew it for a while. It doesn't taste as great. And it's so simple and easy to just have it ready. I love it to be, yeah, still have to chew it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love having massage kale ready to go as a base for salads, bowls, whatever. Put it on or in anything, wraps, burritos, and it lasts quite a while in the fridge, like a few days if you let it last that long. So we're just gonna take, we'll see. I'm gonna, I, was, I was thinking two bunches, but maybe we'll just do one bunch of kale. Take anything off, take your jewelry off, because you're gonna be, you know, getting in there. All this is, is some olive oil, salt, lemon juice. You could use lime juice instead. Um, you could do it oil-free, um, but I don't normally. But if you are oil-free, you can try it out. Let me know how it goes. And all we're doing, <laughs> I should be telling you what I'm doing. <laughs> all we're doing is, do, 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 do. Take this off the stem, de-stem the kale, as I say, and then break it up into like bite-sized pieces. I don't use a knife for this, I love, I'm a huge chopping fan, but I just really prefer breaking this up with my hands. There's something about it, like when you cut bread with a knife, supposedly it ruins it. And as an Italian, I'll stand by that, even though I cut bread with a knife all the time for work. But supposedly it changes the flavor. So we're just gonna de-stem all this kale and any funky bits from the garden or farm get out and give it a little rinse and wash if you want, either before or after. Like before you're de-stemming it like I am, just under the sink. Give it a little raw wash in case there's any bugs, friends, you know, kale grows so for so many months in your garden. If, you're, if you have a garden, you can even be picking it through the snow. Do, do. Kale stems, you could juice them. You could freeze them and throw them into a soup stock. I like to have like a bag of veggie scraps, celery butts, onion skins, kale stems, whatever, anything. Potato bits. Yeah, I think we're just maybe gonna do one bunch of kale. But you can just like make a big batch of this ready for the week. And this would also be like the beginning base of your kale salad because massaging it is going to be so much more enjoyable, tastes so much better, and it's just a lot, a lot easier to eat. And then from this base, you can, my next step would be like adding loads of nutritional yeast is one of my favorite things. And like when I say loads, like add a lot and then probably double it <laughs> and it's so good so maybe we'll end the video with doing a little bit of that nutritional yeast gives it that like cheesy flavor for vegans out there um, I have a vegan kitchen I have eat a plant-based diet vegan diet um, so we've got one bunch of kale in a bowl so we don't really want to fit. It's going to compress down quite a bit, just like when you cook spinach, it like turns to nothing. Um, it won't get that low or that far down. And we're just gonna take, I have olive oil that I got in bulk. I like to use cold pressed olive oil. Keeps it raw for all my raw foodies out there. So start with that, like a drizzle. I don't have a set, there is no recipe for this. It's just, throw it on. Lemon juice, organic, you can fresh squeeze if you want, but it's nice to just like boop, boop. You can go with less if you don't like the citrus, but the kale really absorbs the oil, the citrus, and the salt. And then we're going to throw, throw, gently place, uh, let's see. We'll start with one teaspoon of salt and we'll give it a taste later and see. So then you're just gonna literally massage it 
try to manage the temperament of your bowl from attacking the cutting board. Tranquila. <laughs> and we're just gonna give it a nice massage. If you have gloves and you prefer, you can do that because if you have any cuts on your hands, you're gonna get a little nice citrus wake up. Some healing, it smells so good. I know it sounds silly because it's just lemon juice, olive oil, salt, and kale, but for some reason it just smells really good. And you're gonna massage it for a while until it gets like nice and soft. You can like rub it between your hands. Send it good loving thoughts. <laughs> Nourishing food to nourish your soul. And I might end up adding a little more kale because I did definitely, oh, you're getting like a nice moisturizer for those like coming out of these winter months. <laughs> And I wanna go a little longer, but I also wanna taste it. And it's so messy. Mm, mm. So my tip is to put in more lemon juice than you think. Like what I put on was kind of perfect. And maybe a little more salt than you think you need. I'll just put it extra. So I did like a little, a tiny bit over a teaspoon for one large bunch of, bunch of kale, because the kale bunches really vary in size. Are you getting it at the farmer's market in peak season? Are you getting it in January, February in the Northeast? Um, and it's being shipped from far away. Mm, so good. A little too lemony, but the kale soaks in the lemon juice and salt over time. And my hands are gonna be so gloriously glowing later give them a nice little rub down I'm gonna compost these or you can freeze them for your veg stock or juice them throw them in a smoothie if you want and I'm gonna grab some nutritional yeast to be right back so I have this huge bag of nutritional yeast from my restaurant you can usually get them at like the food co-op and probably Whole Foods if you like special order it or even just ask them if you're going through a lot of nutritional yeast so before I add this on, this would be your massage kale. Store it in a sealed container or just eat it as is. Add things to, I love, I love, I love chopping up some walnuts and cranberries and maybe putting a dash of maple syrup if you wanna add a little sweetness before the pre-nutritional yeast. Cranberries, walnuts, and a little maple. Awesome little side salad on the holidays, Thanksgiving, whatever. Um, you could even, this olive oil, lemon juice, salt, put it on a baking tray, cookie tray, like so, and on your lowest temperature oven, like 212, if you don't have a dehydrator, you could turn this into kale chips. We should make kale chips soon. We'll work on that for you. And you can also just dehydrate that as it is. I often like to make a paste for my kale chips, but I'm gonna save any kale chip talk, more kale chip chop, tip, kale chip talk for future videos. So, but now I'm just gonna show you my favorite nutritional yeast way and kind of show you how much nooch we're gonna go. You can get this in bulk or shakers um, at your local health food store, co-op, honestly, any grocery store, Wegmans, I'm assuming Costco has it, a Price Chopper has it, Amazon. Ooh, it smells so good. So nooch is gonna add that cheesy, cheesy, and you have to taste as you go. Cause it's so good. It's so, I'm just gonna, okay. Bye. What am I doing? 